folks, it's Jason here, and to my Thai friends, Sabadi Krap. I'm here to share a guitar lesson today on playing guitar solos without the string noise, which is a very common problem for beginners to advanced guitar players, so let's get to it. Alright, we're moving in closer here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. For the first part of this exercise, I'm just going to bend a string, and I'm going to do it without eliminating the string noise just so you can hear what it sounds like. It's going to be on the 4th string, the G string, and the 11th fret. See, after a while you start hearing the, the string noise from the other strings. Now, that's cool if it's intentional, but if it's not intentional, well, it's not really cool. And if you're trying to get a clean recording, then you don't want that extra string noise. So, what I do, here's, here's what it sounds like without the string noise. lot clearer. So all I'm doing is as I'm picking and when I go to bend the note, I'll tuck the pick up under my middle finger. Kind of looks like a pterodactyl. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, I tuck the pick under my middle finger like that right after I pick that last note and that frees up these two fingers and my thumb and my first finger and that's what I use to mute the neighboring strings. So I'm playing on the fourth string. So what I'm doing with these two fingers, I'm, I'm muting the third string and the fifth string, like that. So here's the difference. No string noise. So even if you're playing, you know, fast, or if you're playing, you know, a lead lick, You see how after I'm playing as I'm playing, I just quickly tuck the pickup under like that. Now that technique may take some getting used to, and that's fine. Now another time I use this technique is when I'm doing any kind of hammer-ons on one string. So for this for this example, I'm going to be playing on the fifth string, and I'm going to mute the neighboring strings, which will be the fourth string with my thumb, and the last string, the sixth string, with my first finger. So here we go. And if you decide you want to, you know, move to other strings or whatever, you just, you know, you just move your, your muting strings here. So that's all I do. I mean, I kind of just take these two fingers and I kind of follow wherever I'm going. And I've become so accustomed to using this technique, you know, just I'll be picking fast or something. I'll just quickly tuck it up under my middle finger and you know and bend a note or if I'm doing hammer-ons or whatever and it, it, the technique may be kind of difficult at first but the more you practice it like anything you know you'll eventually get it down and I think it will help you play your guitar solos a lot smoother so hope you enjoyed the video all right that wraps it up for today's guitar lesson or should I say metal guitar lesson metal dun 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 thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time Pop can buy a crap.